guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. It is time for another episode of Beat That Level or Die Trying. So the subject of today's challenge, guys, is Papu's Paradise. The stage is called Saintly Sister. Merciless, no continues, and four question marks. What could these question marks be? Well, I actually know what one of them is for sure, guys. I don't remember the other three units in the level, but uh, it's called Papu's Paradise because we're going to try and beat... Papu. Papu is the angel version of Dabu, guys. Dabu being the uh, the big zombie guy. One of the hardest enemies I have faced in this entire game. I managed to beat Dead by Encore. Okay, march to death. It was tough. Look at all those. Look at all those uh, uh, metal units. I was gonna say robots. They are robots. They're metal robots, right? So I got Curling Cat's true form, which is Green Shell Cat, and that's uh, an amazing cat. Okay, very, very powerful. I don't actually know how hard this stage is gonna be, guys, but it's ten stars. Guess what stage is also ten stars? March to death, and I managed to beat that. So uh, just gonna, just gonna go for it. Okay, I got a secret weapon after all which should make the uh, angels a little bit easier. Or not. It might not even work at all, okay? Because I don't know what's in the level. A few days ago, I did a Battle Cats live stream, and I want to show you guys what I got up to in that live stream. But first, I want to fill in these four question marks, okay? So don't worry about the loadout. Don't worry about nothing. I just want to get in there, and I want to see the enemies. I want to I wanna look my enemy in the eyes. In the eye? It's look me in the eye, right? Because you can't look at both eyes at the same time. Or can you? I can't. I can't do that. Okay, so we got uh, got this little squirrel here. Okay, and uh, this guy looks like he's about to do something mean. I really don't... <laughs> this loadout doesn't do nothing, man. Uh, you're not even going to give me all the questions. There, there it is! There it is, the final question mark. I saw it. I seen it with my eyes. Okay. No continues. 100%. Oh, man, I didn't do any damage to that guy. That's crazy. Well, all I know is that I need slapsticks, okay? That's that's all I know. We did the defeat. Go me. That's called progress, guys, okay? Did you know that the road to success is paved with failures? I knew that because I have failed a lot in my life, but I also have been a little bit successful. I got you to watch this video, didn't I? Huh? Okay, saintly sister. Does that mean that Papu is a woman? Because Papu is not a very womanly name. So the strategy seems kind of simple here, guys. You got to get in there, kill the squirrels, and then try and kill the big round angel thing. It's probably going to be harder than it seems. I don't know how much damage this Papu even does, but uh, time for a real loadout, okay? Actually, time for me to show you a brand new true form that I got the other day in the live stream that I just mentioned. So the thing that I love about live streams is being able to ask you guys in real time, what should I do right now? So I said, I've got this Aku cat fruit. Who should I give it to? What's the best thing for me to, to use it on? And apparently, Bunny and Canard was the answer. That was your answer, okay? So it was a whole bunch of people shouting out Ubers at me and Bunny and Canard was the main one people were saying. So here it is. It's level 30, it's been evolved, but let me just show you what Bunny and Canard even does, because I I never used it before, okay? It was at level 1 before I live streamed. And by the way, Bunny and Canard is the seasonal version of Warlock and Pierre, a precocious young sorcerer who has enslaved the Nightmare. Its infernal powers deliver massive damage only to aliens floating in enemy bases. I believe this is the one they call the Base Killer. So, Bunny and Canard, a young mage found an Easter egg that hatched the delightful duck thing to be his new friend. Area attack, only attacks red and black with massive damage. No base killing in this one, okay? And when you upgrade it, the magic egg this young wizard found seems to have been quite rotten after all. Only attacks red slash zombies with massive damage. And then the true form, this is Disciple Psycho Duck by the way. The true form, Malevolent Mad Duck. Sounds a little sketchy, doesn't it? Well, it's purple, so it can't be that bad, right? It's like a light purpley pink type of color. I'm just saying it doesn't sound very malevolent. As the spring sun comes over the horizon, so does this noxious clown who traps naughty children in magic eggs. 
attacks only red and Aku for massive damage. So now I have a massive damage against Aku Uber or another one because uh, I'm a terrorist who does that as well. Uh, good range on this thing. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like it or at least it seemed like it had good range. So evade surge, which is great because you know Aku units got lots of that. Immunotoxic, which I haven't really dealt with at all yet, and it has the effect of only attacking Aku and Red. So there you go. I'll show you. I'll show you in the uh, in the cat guide instead, so you can see this thing. Oh, and one more thing, guys. One more thing I gotta point out. Take a look at Warlock and Pierre, okay? And now take a look at Bunny and Canard. Tell me this thing isn't way way more beautiful. I mean, I do kind of like the look of uh, Pierre, but. Look at the pixels, man! There's so many more pixels in this one, and I really gotta appreciate that. And then when you add color to it, guys, oh my gosh. So beautiful. It looks so harmless. And also there's the, the second form, which is, you know, still black and white, but much more black. So, there you go, and then, and then there's an attack as well, so I'll show you the attack. I don't know about you guys, but if I saw this thing coming towards me, I would be a little bit concerned. Boom! Wait, what? The egg? The egg cracked open in, in the in the stomach. Like I don't even I don't even know what's going on here. But that's that's the uh, malevolent mad duck, and we will use that in the future to hopefully not die. But it's not gonna matter now, is it? I just wanted to point that out, guys. I like to give you an update on my uh, my battle cat's roster, you know, so you so you know what I got and what I don't got and stuff. So Papu's paradise. Let's get uh, some anti. Anti-relic, anti-angel. So this is healer cat. Area attacks have a 100% freeze. I don't know if that thing would even survive, guys, but I'm like kind of feeling that I don't want Papu to hit me very much, you know? Papu, please don't hurt me! Future cat resists relics. That might be a, a big, you know, a big part of the damage being done to me. Look over that. I kind of always like having cyberpunk in my loadout. So that's cool too. Uh, Sniper the Deadeye, don't know if it's gonna be good here. But pop that in the top row and get the knockback from it at the very least. And if it doesn't work so well, we'll change it up. All right, off to visit my saintly sister. And what if we just we just get to the knockbacks right away, huh? Maybe we do that right away, huh? You're gonna do a thing. Oh my God, look at the size of that attack. Sheesh. Okay, don't come any closer. That's what I'll say here. Oh my gosh, they killed healer right away. And oh, what are you doing? Don't do that ever. Jeez Louise, guys, we need faster attacks here or something. Cause they, oh boy. Oh snap. Well gee willikers. Now, I don't think Can Can is a mistake here cause Can Can still, if Can Can could actually hit, would do some hits. I think maybe more meat shields above all else would be helpful cause you know, Can Can's gotta wind up and do her attack. And apparently that dog is pretty strong. We can maybe get through here Healer, do you think you could freeze? Well, I know you could freeze if you could get in there fast enough, Healer! Oh, but maybe we could, um, time the cat cannon so that Healer can get in and freeze before it's too late. So, like, we're there. Life is okay. It's not, but you know. And then... Awaken Bahamut. And then when he goes to do his thing again... She? When she does her thing again? Oh, yeah, she does have a nice, uh, head of hair. What? Did you... Did that not work? What was that? What the heck did you do? I tried to stop your attack and you did your attack anyway. Huh? So like, yeah, not doing a lot of damage to the base, but it does seem to really do a good job of killing my dudes, right? More rushers, perhaps, might be good. We definitely need to rush in there in some ways because we gotta, we gotta get this thing away from the base. Now, I will say that the sniper is not getting hurt currently. Because I guess, I guess the thing is so close to the base, it no longer matters. Is that where we want this thing to be, maybe? And we just fight from here? And try and sort things out before it's too late? I don't know. Seventy percent, okay. Okay. You know what I didn't do? You know the funny thing the funny thing is guys I didn't actually take my uh, my secret weapon. Well we weren't ready for the secret weapon, okay? But now we might be ready for the secret weapon. Okay? Colossal Benkai. So Benkai big big unit. Big angel damage and tough versus angels, okay? Resistant. How much damage does a Papu attack even do? We don't really know. 
It doesn't do a lot of damage to my base, like I said. Well, I don't think Cyberpunk is even gonna do anything, guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and forget about him. I am genuinely considering just letting them come all the way to the base first, then putting out the sniper where it won't get hit. It'll just chill at the base, won't move ahead. Um, but then I'm thinking the sniper might not actually outrange Papu. If the time comes where the enemies are gone and Papu is still there, the sniper just might move in and go boop and die. So uh, let's, let's not have that happen. That'd be cool. I got one rich cat. Don't want to use that yet. Lots of options. And the beautiful thing is we can choose whatever. If it works, that's all that matters. Will it work? Maybe not. But if it works, that's all that matters. Okay, so this is a very dangerous way to do things, folks. Oh my gosh, they got a little too close there. We're doomed. We needed, we needed a little bit less of that for sure. Okay, so now we gotta wait for the next attack. Oh wait, that's right. It doesn't work, right? The cat cannon? Because I was gonna say, wait for the next attack and... I don't even have my cat cannon ready yet. What am I saying? Okay. So, so Can Can survives, guys. And it might be a really good thing that Can Can survives. Of course, we're doomed. We're, we're currently doomed. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. I'm, I'm now curious about the green shell thing. I don't think this is gonna do the trick, guys. I don't, I don't think it will. Let's see how long the green shell can survive, folks. Go. And then we're just gonna level up. Boop, 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 boop. There. Okay. Hello, it's me, green shell. Don't hurt me, don't kill me. Blah! Look who's alive, not you. <laughs> Uh, why don't I stop trying to level up my freaking wallet for a moment? Okay. I don't know if the shell was the right thing, guys. Maybe, maybe we just send out meat shields. Maybe we don't even want this guy. Maybe we just want more speed, huh? Pizza's good for like nice and close action, but then like we have the whole, what are we gonna do now thing going on, you know? I don't, I don't think I can really rush in and do much here, right? I mean, like, how are we gonna knock this thing back without it killing our base first? It really does seem like this is, has something to do with it. You need to survive long enough to make something happen, you know? I can't even fire the cannon, man. It doesn't do anything. Go. Get that. Yeah, you're nice and slow. I saw that. I saw how slow you were, you loser. Okay, so... Pff, saintly sister. Not cool. Okay. Oh my, why am I not using ramen? What is my deal? Ramen could be quite helpful. And it is a very obvious choice. Cat's gift. Now cat's gift might do something here. So we're now, we're at the base. Like that is just how it is. Now we're just, we're just there. We have to kill. Okay, so he's gonna do his attack. Cat gift comes out here and that is fast. Like being able to actually freeze would be legendary. Whoa, it actually survived too. Okay, here's the thing. My my whole cat gift thing didn't work, guys, because this is a very special woman right here. A very large and very special woman who don't take no for an answer. Um, I guess she doesn't like the gift of cats. It's a, it's a, it may, it may be a little bit tailored towards the male preference, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that cat gift is quite spicy. Uh, maybe that's the problem here. She's just she's immune to the to the seduction of the dancing cat in a box. Fine, be like that. Okay, uh, instead of instead of dying here, because I don't I don't want to die here, guys. Instead of dying, I'm gonna go back out here and take a look. Okay, here's what I think. Here I'm gonna have to at least at least look up and and um, confirm what's going on with Papu. Okay, you really put the poo in Papu. You know what I'm saying? Heavenly Herald Papu is an angel variant of Dabu of the Dead that appears in the advent stage Papu's paradise. Look at her. Wow. Weaker than Dabu, significantly longer Omni Strike range, plus a short battlefield in her debut stage, allowing her to hit the cat base from far, plus a faster attack rate. Okay. Attack power is quite low, but she has a new trick up her sleeve. The Toxic ability deals percentage based damage, so even the most resilient cats will die in three hits. 40% of the total HP removed. Same immunities as her predecessor along with immune to waves and her base damage is tripled at 30% HP. Well, that's not good. Toxic ability, exclusive to enemies but can be disabled by curse like other trait specific abilities. Enemies with this ability have a set chance to do a toxic attack indicated by the attack producing a purple splatter effect and a unique sound. Well, how am I supposed to know what sound it is? Cause my sound barely works now, okay? I'm still upset. Immune to waves, knockback, freeze, slow, and weaken. Sheesh. 
That sucks. <laughs> okay. Woo. Well, I don't know how something like Power Cutter Cat would be, but I'm gonna try it out, okay? Try it out for funsies. What else? Probably like Bullet Train, you know? Just zoom on in there. We probably want some tanky units, right? Tanky units that won't die right away. Instead of trying to find out what those units are, I'm gonna try this with a rich cat, okay? Let's see what we got now. We're at level eight max, guys, so that's great. Now, now what we can do is we can get a little more aggressive at the beginning to stop uh, them from destroying our base too quickly. We don't want the base destroyed too quickly, okay. We get nice, nice good attacks in here with Can Can and, oh, you're already hitting the base, huh? That's funny, that's a good time. Okay, boop. Now, we're just gonna have to chill here for a bit, guys. It's ramens and Can Cans. I don't know what else I can do here, maybe. You know, uh, a, a wall now and then. Ramens and can cans and, and, and erasers slash walls. Um, hope to do some damage, you know. And maybe zoom in here and do a little bump. Okay, dog is gone. Here comes Colossal Benkai. Ha! And why not awaken Muhammad while we're at it? Wait, is Benkai not going to be able to do anything, guys? Because of how, how it's going to get knocked back? Oh, no. Benkai, you're too slow. Benkai, don't be like this! You're supposed to be my secret weapon! Maybe your other form can help? Is that a thing? Can we can we do the other form instead? Maybe? Let's just see how we do, guys. Let's just see how we do uh, at the end of this if we don't give up, you know? Because I, I ain't giving up. Oh, right. we must be at 30% damage, guys. Because now, um, now they're powered up. Well, that's good. But we need more things to rush in and kill. So, like... Probably, um, you know, Yukimura or something. Yeah, you know I'm just gonna be uber carried here, guys. It's just gonna happen, okay? Get with the program. That's what we do. But it'd be nice to see how much damage was actually uh, left here. Like, that's not bad. I know that's less than 30. 27. That's beautiful, man. If we had some more rushing going on here, if we didn't have Colossal Benkai. Holding us down and you holding us down. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just imagine the possibilities if that wasn't a thing. Mm. Mm. How about this? How about this? How about this? Yukimura, of course. And you know what? I'm feeling frisky today, guys. Um, I'm going to go uh, go ahead and level cap up Yukimura two times. Two times. Okay. It's called progress. Wait, how many of those do I have? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I still have 24 uber rare cat size, guys. I could, you know, level 50 something if I wanted. If I want it. Curse. Who can curse? Long range, 100% curse. Angels, aliens, zombies. That's pretty cool. Mind controlled hero. Brainwashed brave cat can do it. And Pop Papa, you're not going to do it. But maybe Boomerang? Go, Boomerang. Okay, Boomer. No. God, this guy's slow. Oh, he's still trying, though. He ain't giving up. He ain't giving up yet, guys. He ain't giving up yet. He don't gave up. How about instead of you, we put in a little someone I like to call by their name, Fishman. Here she goes. Fishman! I know Fishman gonna die. That's okay. Boop. Fishman hurts first, right? boy, Fishman. Boop. Oh, wait. You're supposed you're spo you're supposed to boop. You didn't boop. Okay, I'm just having fun with Fishman now, guys, because I like Fishman, okay? Fishman's cool. Oh, did you hear that? That was the sound of uh, of the what's it called? Whatever that uh, ability is. Yeah, it's a uh, um um toxic. That's toxic. Just gotta get rid of these dudes real quick. Come on. There we go. Okay. Wait for one more. And double rush. Wah! Triple rush. Wah! Can't do anything to you, but wah! Try anyway. Wah! Pow! Look at look at us go. Look at us. We're having some fun. And don't worry, because I still got Fishman who's going to roll up in here and do some damage. Now, we're coming to a bit of a turning point here. We're getting close to getting Yukimura back. Yukimura can probably do a ton of damage to this thing. 52k is all we have left on our base. It's not bad. Yukimura, I'm going to send him out now. Hoping to do something. That cat cannon did nothing. That's okay. Boom. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There we go. There we go. Rush it in! Rush it! Yeah! We still got, at the end of the day, guys, we still got can-cans, okay? 
We still got them. No matter what, we got our can cans. They come back. They kill. Oh, but you, you got me. Now, how many percentages was that? Wow, that's a really low number. Okay, I... I scrolled down a little bit, guys, on the on the Papu page, and someone mentioned someone mentioned Ushi Wakamaru. Okay, it's a it's like it's a spammable legend rare, guys. I love that so much. We're not using pizza, so we can just go ahead and replace pizza. Pizza dies too quick. Pizza's too slow. Who else is too slow? Um, n nobody right now. No, everybody else is pretty good. Ramen, ramen's resistant, so it's fine, I think. But then again, I'm pretty sure ramen is still dying in three hits, so. Whatever! This is the one where we win, so it doesn't, uh, and nothing else even matters, okay? Now. Gotta have our sound for this one, guys, because it's about to get crazy! I don't want to put out Ushi Wakamaru yet, okay? Not gonna do that yet. Don't forget to kill. Don't forget to kill these guys. There we go, okay. Ushi! Oh, gosh. Ushi, you're a little bit slow. Oh, it just rolled right on in there, guys. Ushi just rolled right on in there. Like, nobody's business. This thing doesn't care. This thing doesn't care. That's amazing. Okay. That's the secret weapon, guys. Sometimes it looks like they might be dead, but there's definitely an Ushi Wakamaru over there. Ushi, wa Ushi Wakamaru over there. Okay? We don't got time for Ubers and all that silly stuff. We just got Ushis. Ushi's all day. That's my way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. guess what I got for you? Boom, one of them. Oh, yeah. And don't forget the Ushis. As long as we got our can cans, like, what else matters? Can cans, whenever we can get them. Ushi Waka Marus, whenever we can get them. And you're going to see some things happen here, okay? Uh, they're, they're already down below 30, guys. Like, that's, it's coming. So Ushi does get knocked back, which is a little bit annoying. And looks like all our Ushis have died, which is a little bit annoying. But I have faith. I have faith. I should probably slack off on the Ushis until we get rid of the other things in the way and then go back to the Ushis then. 36,000 left. Not good. Gah! Kill. Kill! We must kill! Yeah! Wah! Take that! That's what you get! Don't mess with the legend carry! Oh! World's best legend carry YouTuber! Not even. World's best world's best legendary legend carry YouTuber named Matt Shay! <laughs> oh! No. No, you forgot. Forget it. Well, that was fun, guys. <laughs> Wasn't that a fun time? We need Cossack Cat, okay? I'm not even sure what a, what a Cossack is. Is it a Cossack? Cossack? I don't know. We need to get it. It's only a likely chance. Should have brought my treasure radar, but I didn't. But that's okay. Okay. Just sending out all my rushing. And hopefully, just gonna finish this off real quick here. It's very close to being done. 24k, that's not much. Well, okay, we have one more hit we can take, but we'll get it right now, right now before it's too late. Boom, got it, okay, great, awesome. I'm so glad that I had to do that like five more times, guys. I'm so glad, thank you, Ponos. Th th thank you so much. Yeah, don't don't give me a victory song, don't do that. Look, I got the Cossack, guys. I got it. Cossack Cat, a cat of the steps, master of the dance. Years of practice developed powerful thighs to deliver massive damage to relics. Your thighs are gonna do that? That's that's great. That sounds like a lot of fun. Don't mind me while I get you to level 10 so I find out what else your thighs can do. Vodka cat, now that's, that sounds great. On fearsome winter nights, enjoys a powerful liquor to warm himself and enhance his leg power. Massive damage to relics, okay. What do that mean? What is it gonna be? What's it gonna do, guys? I mean, I know exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna do damage to relics, massive damage to relics, but let me just take a look real quick here. I want to just take... Uh, oh, yeah. This is my favorite dance ever, guys. I mean, how could it not be? How could you not love that? Now, do your thing. Do your thing. Come on. Maybe that is the thing, guys. Maybe it just does that. Yeah, sure looks like it's not going to do anything. Okay. And then we've got Vodka Cat, which is just an upgraded version of Cossack Cat, which has vodka. And what? what is that? Oh, just little frills? 
Is this little frilly things? Okay, cool. Great. That's our new cat, guys. We'll check it out in the next episode. Let me know, um, let me know how much this is gonna help. Going into Uncanny Legends, well, I'm quite far into it now, but Uncanny Legends, this will probably help in there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.